What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net, and I hope this light is not going to glare too much off my forehead. But what we're going to be doing here today is that, uh, as you can see, I've got a, a sort of a new office. This is used to be my son's room, it still is, but he's off at trade school, so I've converted half of his room into my office. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on this computer right here. This is my mother's computer. It is a HP 2000. I strongly advise nobody to ever buy an HP 2000 from Walmart. It is the biggest piece of crap, worthless, you can't upgrade the CPU, you can go up to 8 gigabytes of RAM in it, but it's still sluggish as crap. Uh, and it's hard to even go on to Facebook. Go figure. So, but anyway, what we're doing is that uh, I had uh, downgraded it to Windows 7. And, uh, but I was uh, running the trial on it and just redoing the trial every 90 days for my mother so that she could uh, use the computer until uh, Windows 10 became available for her to do her Windows 8 upgrade. So what has to be done in order to do the Windows 8 uh, upgrade to Windows 10 is that this has to happen. For one, you need to install Windows 8 back on your system if you have downgraded it to Windows 7. And uh, then you have to go from Windows 8 to, uh, you have to install all the updates. So you have to go inside the uh, control panel, and then you have to go in yonder, and you have to uh, bring open your Windows update, find all updates, update your entire system. It has to be updated in order for this to work. Once it's completely updated, you need, need to go inside of the store, which if you go, run your cursor over to the top right hand corner, and then uh, brings up your panel on the side, click on search, and then as soon as that page opens up, click on store. Over here on the left hand side, as soon as store opens, I mean as soon as uh, the page opens, uh, store opens, you're gonna see Windows 8.1 update. You're gonna click on it. Hopefully without any problems, it should start to download. Now, if it gives you an error saying that it cannot download or complete the download, then simply go back inside the control panel, inside a Windows update, make absolutely sure that nothing is pending, go inside of the area where um, any type of failed, it'll be right hand, uh, left hand side, the last one down will be anything that has, uh, that is paused or failed or anything, go there to see if there's anything pending. Make sure everything's updated. Now, once that's all done and you're able to up, uh, upgrade to 8.1, you're not close yet. Okay, so after 8.1 installs itself, then you have to go inside of the Windows Update once more, and you have to get all the updates, every single one of them. So once all that's done, then you should be able to see right here in the right-hand side, the little Windows 10 icon that lets you know that you can now upgrade to Windows 10. It took two full days to get this done. Uh, I was downloading at about seven megabytes uh, is what my download speed is, so I did pretty decent. Okay, I was able to download at four gigabytes for uh, 8.1, and then it was uh, about it was about 3.5 gigabytes for 8.1. Okay, and so it it took a little while to download, about an hour to download, and then it installed itself. So it took about a total of about three hours to download and install. But the entire process from installing Windows 8, downloading all the updates, which is a complete nightmare. I tell you right now, it is a nightmare. If you have Windows 8, and you do a clean install of Windows 8, and then you do all the updates, it will take an entire day. I'm talking 24 hours. So you install Windows 8, install all the updates, 24 hours. Then you do 8.1, install it, and then all of its updates about 6 to 8 hours. Then we get to uh, 8.1 and all of its updates. It don't take that long. And then we get what we see over here in the right-hand corner. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this portion of the video, and then we're going to go ahead and jump over here to Windows 8.1, and we're going to go ahead and start the update. Now, this is a two-part video. We're going to do an upgrade of Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. On our next video, we're going to do a full, clean install of Windows 10. 